Hey guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, and Apple has launched a product red version of both the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. So we saw this last year with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, so halfway through the life cycle of the phone, they launch a special edition or limited edition product red version, which lasts for about six months or until the next iPhone comes out. Product red is priced exactly like all of the other colors, which includes silver, space gray, and gold. You can pick this up in 64 or 256 gigs of storage, just like all the other colors. The unboxing here is pretty much identical to any other iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. The only difference here really comes down to the phone itself and the literature packet. So in addition to the Apple stickers, the quick start guide, regulatory and warranty information, and the SIM ejection tool, we also get this red card, which highlights the cause that's being supported with the product red purchase. So every time you buy one of these phones or any product red product, a portion of those profits go toward the global fund to support HIV and AIDS programs. We also get some pretty familiar accessories. So we have a five watt power adapter, a set of lightning connected headphones, along with an adapter for non-lightning headphones, and of course, another USB lightning cable. So a welcome design tweak is the black bezel. So previously, product red phones or iPods had white bezels. So I think this looks quite a bit better. Some people may not like it, but I think overwhelmingly, people prefer the black bezel with this vibrant red. I think it just goes together better. Now this is the first time we've seen a product red with a glass iPhone, and it's really stunning here. We have that really smooth, glossy, opaque red color, which is very vibrant, so it really reflects light. It's very different than something like the aluminum anodized finish of the product red on the iPhone 7 or the iPod Touch, which sort of looked like a metallic paint. It's a really nice color, really vibrant as well, but in this case, it looks a little more premium. Definitely stands out. Very similar to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, instead of color matching highlights, we get silver highlights. So we have a silver Apple logo and a silver iPhone and product red brand. So it's much more vibrant or stands out quite a bit more than the color tinted versions from the other iPhones. Down below, we have silver screws and a silver lightning connector, but unlike the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, we have a black insert in the lightning connector as opposed to a white one. Of course, just like every other iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, we also have Touch ID 2. So that home button ring is black to match the screen, not necessarily to match the body. That's also true of Space Gray. It's dark black instead of Space Gray. There's another really small detail here, which is the mute switch. So in the case of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the indicator was white, which stood in contrast to the red body. But in the case of the iPhone 8, they kept it orange, which unfortunately makes the indicator virtually invisible on the iPhone 8. As always, Apple likes to tweak its colors, so the product red on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus seems to be slightly more orange than the one on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but it's such a slight difference, it's actually kind of difficult to demonstrate, but I definitely notice it in person. Now, because the only thing new here is this color, there really is no difference between this and the iPhone 8 I reviewed back in October. So if you want an in-depth look at the iPhone 8, I'll leave that video linked in the description below. So I have to say with the combination of the black bezel and this vibrant red with the silver highlights, I think this is a fantastic looking phone. It's too bad it's not the iPhone 10. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this quick look at the product red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know with a like, and I'll see you again in my next video.